Hi, I'm John Kay. I've been asked by Mr. Wimble to talk about my invention, which helps revolutionise the manufacturing industry. It was called the Flying Shuttle, and before I invented it, one person could only do so much width of the fabric that they were weaving. But the Flying Shuttle, here it is here, it allowed one person to stretch an even wider fabric and really allowed more and more people to take up manufacturing. It allowed people to power the loom like the next invention. As you can see from my face, I'm James Hargreaves. I invented something called the Spinning Jenny. Now this really had a huge impact on manufacturing. What it did is it allowed uh, home-based machines which really increased the speed at which people could weave fabric. Now, not twice as fast, not three times as fast, but you guessed it, eight times faster than if they were doing it by hand. The spinning jenny had a huge impact on weaving and manufacturing in general. Whoa, hey, I'm Richard Arkwright. I invented, well, I seem to be in the air, hold on. Ah, that's better. I'm Richard Arkwright. I invented, uh, basically, it's called the water frame. Let me show it to you. It's, it's a water-powered spinning machine. So, so the water goes through the little turbines and it actually runs the machine, which means, obviously, it's a renewable energy, which is ahead of its time, but also it meant you couldn't actually do the weaving in a home. So, my invention, the water frame in 1769, basically led to the creation of factories. Because people built a big building by the water to run their machinery. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm Samuel Crompton. I combined the spinning jenny and the water frame into one device. Therefore, I was able to hugely increase the production of the fine thread that was being made. I called it the spinning mule. And it happened in around 1779. How about we go to a different location and talk to Eddie Cartwright? Hey there, I'm Ed Cartwright. In 1785, I invented something called the power loom. Now, what the power loom did was... It was a water-powered device, and it automatically, that was the big thing, it automatically and quickly wove thread into cloth. This meant that a whole heap of thread could be very quickly made into cloth by very few people who were simply ensuring that my power loom worked effectively. But where did we get the thread from? Well, usually it was cotton. And very helpfully, a couple of years later, we have... Yeah, good day, Eli Whitney here. I invented the cotton gin. This, this was an incredibly amazing device, even if I say so myself. What it did was separated cotton from the cotton seeds, which was a finicky kind of thing to do, which we used to get slaves to do, but now the machine could do it. What this did was it increased the supply of cotton to the world while at the same time actually lowering the cost of the raw cotton. In other words, I managed to increase the supply of cotton for the manufacturers in England by a massive amount. Thanks. Let's move on to Elias. Hello. My name is Elias Howe. I am also American. I invented something many of you have in your homes right now. This invention increased the speed of sewing tenfold. Okay, I can't back up the tenfold, but a lot. I invented in 1846 the sewing machine. So, from all these inventors, we can see that the whole process of making clothes changed. It went from being home-based, having people working by hand, making one set of cloth at a time, 
to via the weave and the loom and the flying shuttle being able to make longer pieces of fabric these fabrics being powered by water then the cotton gin allowing the actual supply of the fabric to increase and so this process revolutionized the way fabric was made we went from home-based single people working one person at a time one cloth at a time to huge buildings usually near water powering machines which automatically turn thread into cloth and was then able to be made into fabrics. This weaving and this process is a key part of the Industrial Revolution.